Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the lecture on free short energy and endoergic reactions. For the endoergic reaction, where Q is a negative, additional energy is needed to excite the target to such energy level that it further breaks up. In these reactions, the masses of the products are higher than those of the reactant. So first have a look on the learning objective. So I will be discussing about uh, four major learning objective in this video. And first one is the uh, about the three short energy for endoergic reaction, which must be required for such reactions. And second will be how to calculate the Q value. Actually, this is to define the the nature of the reaction which is endoergic or the exoergic reaction. So if the reaction is endoergic, then there should be a three short energy is required to complete such nuclear reactions. So then we will drive a very simple equation for the three short energy. And at the end, we will do some exercise to calculate the three short energy. So first have a look on the, uh, the definition of the three short energy. Actually, this is the energy needed by a non-spontaneous or endoergic reactions for its completion because endoergic reactions are the non-spontaneous and exoergic reactions are spontaneous in nature. And for the endoergic reaction, Q value will always be negative. So this extra energy is needed for the endoergic reaction and which is provided by the instant projectile on the target to form the compound nucleus. So how to fix this energy deficit? The first is the actually the, the change in energy or the energy associated for such endoergic reactions uh, should be having the value of minus. So because the Q value is minus, so this minus is indicating that this energy is required to complete the endoergic reactions. And second one is excess energy also has to be provided to impart the momentum to the resulting compound nucleus. And this momentum is subsequently carried by the products which are the product particle and the product nucleus, as we have uh, uh, discussed in detail in the previous videos. So the first have a look uh, on the, uh, the calculation of the Q value using the difference uh, of uh, masses of the reactants and the products by using very simple formula. Let's, a uh, projectile is bombarded on a target and here projectile is the alpha and when it is bombarded on the, uh, the target it will form the compound nucleus so actually because alpha is the projectile so it will increase the atomic number by 2 and mass number by 4 in the compound nucleus and it is further disintegrated into the proton and just to balance the atomic number and the mass number. So there is the uh, increase of one atomic number and increase of three mass number because one atomic number and one mass number is carried out by the proton. So this is the real example of the, this equation. Here the target is the nitrogen 714 and uh, the projectile is the alpha forming the compound nucleus is 4918 then form the product nucleus oxygen 1817 and product particle is proton atomic number one and mass number one so you just have to put the values of these masses over here in this equation and you will get the answer. This is the difference in uh, the masses, which is minus 0 0.001282. You have to multiply 
to convert into the energy which is mega electron volt so this is just the energy factor to convert the the unified atomic mass to the energy but the energy will be in mega electron volt so this minus is indicating that this is the energy deficit and the reaction is endoergic reaction so and for the endoergic reaction projectile must carry some additional energy to complete this nuclear reaction and this is called the three shot energy and now we are going to uh, define this what is the three shot energy and how to calculate this one so for the endoergic reactions again this is the the target uh, having the mass and max being attacked by the projectile having the mass small m small x with the kinetic energy of the ex this is the e small x is the kinetic energy of the projectile because the target is at the rest position it does not has the kinetic energy so when the projectile is absorbed in a target and it will form the compound nucleus with the mass of mc c is the compound nucleus and capital m is the mass of the compound nucleus and this total mass will be the sum of the mass of the target and the projectile so mc will be equal to mx plus mx pro projectile and the target so the compound nucleus attains the velocity and its velocity uh, is vc so the momentum of the compound nucleus will become the mc vc that is mass into velocity is the momentum of the compound nucleus and the compound nucleus has to be equal to the momentum of the projectile so this is the uh, momentum of the projectile and this is the momentum of the compound nucleus because this is due to the law of conservation of momentum this momentum will be equal to the this momentum momentum of the compound nucleus will be equal to the momentum of the projectile and here you can get the velocity of the compound nucleus which is equal to this one and this is important because this velocity we will be using to derive the equation for the three shot energy so again uh, uh, you can calculate the q value with by the difference in masses as we have described in the previous slide and even you can also calculate the q value with the difference in the energy and that energy is the uh, q value will be equal to the energy of the compound nucleus minus energy of the projectile because target does not has the kinetic energy due to uh, presence at the rest state so if the reaction is endoergic so simply you uh, the q value will be minus i am just multiplying the minus uh, with the whole equation so this will become minus this will become plus and this will be minus so this is the just the simple form for the uh, endoergic reaction here ec stands for the kinetic energy of the compound nucleus and ex stands for the kinetic energy of the projectile so by placing the kinetic energy terms in this equation as you know the kinetic energy is equal to half mv square so i am putting the kinetic energy for the projectile half mv square and uh, kinetic energy for the uh, compound nucleus again half mv square so just c or x are indicating the compound nucleus and the projectile so further by replacing the vc as uh, we have uh, already derived in the previous slide vc will be equal to the, this one so just put the value of vc in this equation so this equation becomes like this and i am just now rearranging the equation 1 mc is going to be cancel out with uh, 1 mc and 1 mc is left and uh, this will be the mx square vx square so i am just splitting the mx to the two form just to get the value of the half mv square 
so this is the previous question and then you now you can take the common uh, half m v square and this will this equation becomes this and again now you can put the value of half m v square will be equal to the kinetic energy and this is the kinetic energy of the projectile this is the half m v square is the kinetic energy of the projectile so i'm just replacing the half m v square with the x the rest will remain the same so again if you take the lcm it this equation becomes like this and further you can uh, sh uh, shorten the equation just plus and minus are cancelled out and this equation becomes this and now you can calculate the ex so, so just denominator will be going to multiply the q and this will be the numerator and th this equation becomes like this and you can further simplify this equation to this uh, just divide mx with the mx this will be cancelled out and that means one is left so plus mx divided by m capital m capital x so this is the three shot energy and mx is the small mx is the mass of the projectile capital mx is the mass of the target and this is the energy required for the endoelectric reaction the value of uh, the q value calculated by using the difference in masses so they, there are the two important uh, points uh, regarding this three shot energy because uh, here these two factors are very important so let's suppose if uh, the projectile is the gamma ray so for in case of the gamma ray mx uh, will be the mass of the gamma ray and you know uh, uh, gamma ray does not has the mass so this becomes uh, zero so this whole becomes zero and then uh, it actually ex will be equal to the minus x so in case of the gamma ray energy the three shot energy will be equal to the energy required for the endoelectric reactions and second very important point is here uh, and it could be brought to a uh, this three shot energy could be brought to a minimum by reducing the ratio uh, small m over capital M by making the projectile smaller in mass and target heavier. So as soon as you take a uh, projectile in smaller mass or target having heavier mass, so this ratio becomes insignificant. So again, there will be the less three short energy is required for such type of the reaction and vice versa if the projectile is heavier in nature or the uh, target is lighter or smaller in mass in nature then this factor becomes significant and you will need more three short energy to complete this endoelectric reaction so these two uh, assumptions are very important regarding the three showed energy and you can decide the the endoergic reaction based on the three showed energy how much three showed energy is required you can control the uh, three showed energy by replacing the uh, the projectile and the target so here it is the last slide to how to calculate the three showed energy again first you have to calculate the Q value as we have discussed in the uh, the first slide if the the value is in minus that mean it is the endoergic reaction and then simply uh, you can use uh, this three shot energy formula put the masses of the projectile and mass of the target and the energy of the uh, Q here is minus 1.19 and minus minus is cancel out the value will be 1.19 and just you take the LCM or directly you can solve this one and the three short energy will be 1.52 so the initially it was the the difference in Q value was 1.19 
but actual energy or uh, the three shot energy is required is 1.52 mega electron volt for this reaction so unless it is not provided uh, with the projectile this section will not carry on so this is all about the three shot energy and its calculation so these are the references our own book uh, uh, he is my supervisor professor iftikhar imam naqvi actually he wrote these two books and you can also use uh, the nuclear physics by kaplan as a reference for further study so thanks for watching you can find uh, the relevant video in, on the this playlist which is the nuclear chemistry by my self or you can go to the youtube channel through this link or you can simply search through my name where you can find the other videos so thank you for watching and see you in the next lecture